Do you hear that? Hear what? There's a baby crying. I'm not home. Wait until I get back. It's coming from the basement. Don't go down there, Tiff. What? Why not? There's something about your father I haven't told you. Mom, there's a baby crying. I can hear it. Honey, please ignore it until I get home. How am I supposed to do that? It's getting louder. Don't go down there. I'm warning you. Oh my god, mom. Are you not grasping the situation here? There's a random baby crying in the basement. I know. Just stay in your room. Hold on. I think it stopped. I don't hear anything. Good. I'm going downstairs to check. Oh my god. What the fuck? Tiffany. Please stay upstairs and wait on me. Mom, I'm not staying upstairs. I'm going to move closer. What is this? I want to know what's going on. You're stubborn, just like your father. Where are you now? Tiffany? It stopped. What? The crime. It just stopped, suddenly. I'm putting my ear up to the basement door. It's totally quiet down there. Something doesn't feel right. Why would the crying just stop? I don't know the answer to that. Do you know why there's a baby in the basement? And a bloody blanket on the stairs? We'll talk when I get home. Mom, why are you being so elusive? I want to know what the hell is going on. Soon. Five minutes later. Are you coming in or not? Huh? I'm still about 20 minutes away. Didn't you just pull up in the driveway? No. Why would you think that? I heard a car door slam about five minutes ago. That wasn't me. What the fuck? It must be dad. But why wouldn't he come in? It's not your father. How do you know? I'm going to go look outside. Please be careful. It's a white car. I don't see anyone though. Is it a small white car? Why? Just tell me, is it small? Yeah, looks to be. Tiffany, listen to me. Go back to your room. Lock yourself in. What? Why? Do you know whose car that is? Just go. Oh my god, wait. I think I see a shadow in the window. It's a woman. Don't let her see you. She's crazy. Who's crazy? Mom, who is that? What is she doing now? I don't know. Hold on. Let me look outside. Please be careful. Crap. She saw me. Now she's pounding on the front door. She's crying and screaming dad's name. Just ignore her. It's going to be okay. I'm almost home. How is this okay? There's a random baby in the basement and now there's a psycho woman at the door. I'll explain when I see you. Just don't go answer the door and don't go into the basement. Mom, I'm scared. She's knocking really loud. She keeps screaming, where is she? Is that her baby in the basement? I've called the police. Make sure all the doors are locked. Oh my god. I think she's trying to break into the house. Is she on drugs or something? Her hair is all wild then. Oh my god. She's covered in blood. I'm about 15 minutes away. Where's dad? He's supposed to be here by now. Why aren't you? And why aren't you answering your phone? I'm, I'm in a cab. I can't talk. It's going to be okay, Tiffany. Calm down. Oh God, she has a rock. She's going to break a window. The window will hold. 
it would take a lot of force to break them. This is insane. I wish the police would come. Mom is coming home soon. She'll take care of it. Wait, she stopped. I don't hear anything. Maybe she's leaving. Keep the doors locked. I just looked out the front window. I don't see her, but her car is still here. How did you know who it was? Who is she, Mom? Someone your father knows. I knew nothing of her until recently. I don't understand. What are you telling me? Today was a really bad day. Why? Oh great. Now the baby's crying again. Fuck my life. I have to go down there. Don't you dare, Tiffany. It's not safe. Go hide until I or the police get there. I can't wait for the police to get here. They're taking too long already. Honey, please, stay put. Mom, I'm freaking out here. I have to do something. There's just, there's just so much you don't know. Well, tell me. I don't understand what's going on. I didn't want you to know. Know what? What your dad did. What did he do? How does he know this woman? I don't know how they met, but they both regret it now. What happened is... Is irreversible. Can you give me a straight answer, please? Whose baby is that in your basement? In the basement? Your father's. What? A little girl. What the hell do you mean? It's Dad's baby. He's been having an affair. I didn't want you to find out. I didn't want you to know what happened today. Dad, an affair? It was a mistake. At least, at least that's what he told me. I didn't want to tell you and to disappoint you. He tried to break it off with her. But she went crazy. Threatened to kill him. He became worried for the baby's safety, so he took her. Are you freaking serious? So that's his mistress at the door? Yes. That's Jessica. She's obsessed with your father. I, I was hoping she wouldn't take it to this level. Dad is such a bastard. I can't believe he'd do that to you. And now I'm the one dealing with this crap. I know. I'm sorry, Tiffany. Is that why he's been staying at hotels recently? I know you two haven't been getting along. He's worried Jessica will follow him home and harm the family. I was hoping she... Wow, this is terrible. Are you okay? I am now. I feel much better. Oh no. I can hear her again. She's walking around the side of the house. She keeps screaming, where is she? She knows the baby's here. Go look from the upstairs bathroom. Get, a, get away from the ground floor. Okay, I can see her. Oh my god, mom. I think she has a gun. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. On my way. That poor baby. I can't let that f psycho woman find her. I'm going down there to get her. Tiffany, what did I say? Do not go into the basement. It's for your own good. I have to do something. Sorry, Mom. I love you. But I'm going down there. Where's your mom right now? I don't know. I thought she was with you, visiting dad's grave. No, she isn't. Oh no. I was afraid this was gonna happen. 
Afraid what would happen? There's no time to explain. Go and check your bedroom to be sure. Be sure of what? Don't ask questions right now. Rachel. Gran. You're scaring me. I'm sorry. Just please go check now. Just don't let her see you. And call me right away if she does. Okay. I'm in the hallway. The door's closed. Look through the keyhole. What do you see? Something is in mom's bed. It's mom. She's making a weird noise. It sounds like an animal in pain. Oh my god. It's getting louder. It sounds horrible. Rachel, get out of the house now. What? Why? What if mom's in trouble? There's something I haven't told you. What, Gran? That noise you're hearing? It's not your mother. Rachel opens the door. A crack. And looks inside. And this is what she sees. It's her mother. Making those horrible noises. Rachel wants to run to her. But something holds her back. She closes the door. Rachel, where are you? Are you still in the house? Yeah, I saw mom making those noises. I told you, that's not your mother. I did something terrible. Get out of the house now, and I'll explain. Quick, you're in danger. Rachel runs down the stairs. Just then, the bedroom door opens. Rachel can't help but turn around. But she's horrified by what she sees. It's her mother, but there's something very wrong with her. Rachel, come here. Please, I need to tell you something. Mom, I can't. I'm sorry. Seeing her mother in such distress, Rachel has a moment of indecision. In that moment, her mother grabs her by the wrist with a hand that's deathly cold. It sounds a it sends an icy shiver all through Rachel's body. Rachel, please, there isn't much time. A rivulet of blood trickles down Mom's face, freezing along the way. You need to listen to me. Rachel manages to pull her hand out of her mother's grasp. She runs into the guest room and then locks the door. She texts Gran. Gran, help. I'm in the guest room. Mom came out of the bedroom. She didn't look good, Gran. And her hand was colder than ice. Rachel's mother starts pounding on the door. Rachel, please, unlock the door. Time is running out. I need to to tell you something. What? Open the door and I'll tell you. Rachel's phone vibrates with a text from her grandmother. Rachel. Where are you? Gran, mom wants to open the door. Do not open the door, Rachel. But there's a key in the kitchen. She's probably getting it right now. Rachel, can you get out through the window? I think so. I need you to do that now. Rachel opens the guest room window and jumps down onto the lawn. She runs into the woods behind the house and ducks behind a tree. Panting, she texts Gran. I'm out of the house, but I had to run away from my own mother. What's going on? I'm so scared. Where are you now? I'm in the woods, behind the house. You need to come to the graveyard now. But why, Gran? You have to tell me why, or I'll go back in the house. Mom needs my help, and I just deserted her. Rachel, please listen to me. Your mother isn't human anymore, and that thing, that thing that's taken over her body, it wants to kill you. What do you mean, 
something's taking over my mother's body. How is that even possible? Because I did a terrible thing. But I did it for you. What? What did you do? You know how your mom got so sick last year? Yeah. But that's behind us now. She's better now. What do you mean something's taken over my mother's body? No. The truth is she never got better. What? Is that why she's acting like, like this now? Yes. But she was fine after she got out of the hospital. At least until recently. Come to think of it, she has been acting strange these last couple of days. But I thought that was just from being sick and her grief over dad dying. She is different, Rachel. And it's all my fault. The truth is, I couldn't let her go for your sake. And your dad had just died too. And I couldn't have you lose both parents at, at the same time. One after the other. What are you saying, Grant? I don't understand. You wouldn't have been an orphan, Rachel. Try to see where I was coming from. Your mother was about to die. The chaplain had it administered the last rites. Why didn't you tell me she was about to die? I should have been there. Because I was not going to let her die. I simply refused to let her die. And that was when the devil came to me. The devil? He appeared above your mother's hospital bed. He said he would make a deal with me. What kind of deal? You may not know this, Rachel. But just as a person's spirit slips away from their body, a blood relative can intercept it in a devil's presence and act on behalf of the person who is about to die. They can? That seems wrong. Everything the devil does is wrong, Rachel. But sometimes it's a wrong in the service of a right. Or what seems like doing right at the same time. And so, on behalf of your mother, I allow the devil to take control of your mother's spirit so she could stay alive. What? That seems so selfish, Gran. It was partly for me. Yes, I'll admit it. But it was mostly for you. What if your mother had died that day, Rachel? I don't know. I guess I might have not survived that. It was just two months after Dad died in the accident. You see? It would have been too much for you to handle. I could have come and lived with you. Mom and I talked about that. When we thought she was not going to make it. Of course. I would have taken you in, but nothing compares to a mother's love, and that's what I told the devil that day, when I sold my own daughter's soul to him. Gran, I'm scared to ask you this, but what kind of deal did you make with the devil? The devil told me that he is creating a new army of disciplines on earth, and that they will be all women because women are the strongest human beings and they have a kind of power that he needs. He picked your mother to be one of his first because he could see how special she is. Oh, Gran, of course I know mom is special, but why did the devil think so? He says she has the heart of a warrior and that she was born at the wrong time He's going to make sure that she has a chance to show her true strength. Mom is strong, Gran. But now that strength will be used towards evil. Why did you make that deal, Gran? 
You should have let mom die. Instead, you let her spirit get taken over by the devil. I know. It was a terrible mistake. I was weak. I'm sorry. Is there anything we could do now? I'm scared, just thinking about what the devil might do. Mom wouldn't want to be used that way. I'm sure that I'm sure of that. There is one thing we can do. Just one. Tell me, Gran. Your mother is still part human. Every day the devil sucks a little bit more humanity out of her spirit. Tonight at midnight, the final piece of her humanity will disappear. The devil will gain full control of her. Oh my god. Gran, then what? Answer me, please. The noise you heard tonight was your mother trying to hang. Hang on to that small struggling piece of humanity she still has left inside her. Just then, Rachel hears twigs crackling in the woods. Then she sees a figure. It's her mom. But it isn't really her mom, and she's holding a knife. Come here, Rachel. Please, come here. Rachel's horrified by the sight of her mother. Even so, a part of her still wants to run towards her to help, but she's running away, towards the graveyard. And her grandmother? Rachel, my darling, I was so afraid. Quickly now, we don't have much of a moment to lose. Gran takes out a needle and moves towards Rachel. Let me prick your finger. This will keep you safe. Rachel almost lets Gran pick her finger, but then she backs away. She runs towards Dad's grave and places both her hands on her, the headstone as if to gain strength from it. Gran appears with a needle, but she stops short, right before the grave. It is as if an invisible force field prevents her from entering the space around the grave. Then another figure appears, Rachel's mom. Rachel, stay here. Gran can't get to you if you're if you're touching your father's headstone. If you let her prick your finger and will be lost. Mom, why do you look like that way? Why are you holding a knife? Her mother utters the cry that pierces go through the graveyard. It renders Gran immobile and speechless. Rachel, listen to me. That cry will only hold Gran for still for 10 minutes. Gran has a look of mute fury on her face. She is powerless. For now. What did Gran tell you, Rachel? She said you may... She said, she said she made a deal with the devil and that the devil took over your soul and that you will be completely under the devil's control at midnight. That's all true, Rachel. Oh, mom. But midnight is only 10 minutes away. That's why I need you to be brave and act fast. You are as strong as I am. I believe that. I know that. Mom. Do you need to do what do you need me to do, Mom? First, you need to know that Gran didn't tell you everything. Because that day in the hospital, the devil took over her soul too. She's older, so it took less time for him to get full control of her. That's not your grand standing here. That's a full despicable of the devil. 
That woman has no humanity left in her. I don't know who to believe. I thought she was trying to help me. No. She wanted both of us to come to the graveyard. So she had to tell you at least some of the truth. And once she got you to listen to her, she knew I would follow you here. The devil wants all three of us to be here together. At midnight, he'll try to make us place our hands over the grave of Grant's mother, your great-grandmother, Beatrice. That will create enough power to make you this pile too. We're that strong, Rachel. If he gets you too, the four of us will become that strong. That's why he chose us. That's why I need you to kill me with this knife. It's the only way. What? I can't. That will create enough power. I can't. That's murder. I can't murder my own mother. Rachel, look at my face. There are multiple rivulets of icy blood running down her white, white skin. No normal human being looks this way. At midnight, I am not going to be human anymore. At midnight, I won't be your mother. Rachel, it has to be the, um, the blood of my blood that commits the murder. Mom, I can't. Yes, you can. Take this knife and plunge it into my hand. If I were still a normal human, it would only injure me. But because I have so little human blood in me, it will kill me. Mom, please, please let me rest in peace alongside of your father. Please, Rachel, it's 11.59. You need to do it now. Honey, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you every day. And I know you will do lots of good in this world. I love you too, Mom. Rachel takes the knife from her mother and plunges it into her mother's left hand. A few drops of her blood appear, and then her mother falls lifeless onto the ground. The being inside Grant's body disappears leaving her corpse vacant on the ground. Rachel throws herself sobbing on top of her mother. Goodbye, Mom. The devil was right. You are the strongest person on earth.